For centuries, inventors have tried to build machines with perpetual motion, machines that, once set in motion, would continue in motion forever, with no additional energy required to maintain them. The appeal of perpetual motion lies in the way it may supply humanity with virtually unlimited free power. The oldest perpetual motion devices imagined in the 13th century were supposed to deliver more energy than is required to restore those devices to their original state. The most common of these is the overbalanced wheel. In a typical version, flexible arms are attached to the outer rim of a vertically mounted wheel. The assumption is that the weights exert more downward force at the ends of extended arms than is required to raise them on the other side, where they are kept closer to the axis of rotation by the folding of the arms. While the idea is interesting and well-engineered machines can give impressive demonstrations of their ability to operate for long periods of time, they finally stops. And this is not a surprise, since this assumption violates the first law of thermodynamics. Let me pause here and explain the implication of this law on perpetual motion. This law states that the total energy of an isolated system is always constant. When we talk about total energy, we distinguish two forms of energy heat and thermodynamic work. And when we say that the total energy is constant, we mean that energy can be neither created nor destroyed. Instead, it simply changes from one form to another. So to keep a machine moving, the energy applied to initiate the motion should stay within the machine without any losses. Back to our overbalanced wheel. Even a very well-designed device will lose energy to heat because of the friction. Friction between the moving parts of the wheel and air friction. In addition, since sound is also a form of energy, even the sound produced by the machine means that it is losing energy. Finally, and because energy cannot be created from nothing, even with an hypothetical frictionless device, the maximum energy we could ever harvest from it will never exceed the energy given to initiate its motion.